Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Mutant Year Zero where we are heading south this video. So we're heading to the Iron Serpents. So we've cleared out as much north as we can. So we're, we were at Iza and Fala, the kebab and pizza shop last video and we got some nice weapons some upgrades and stuff like that uh, there's that place there which is too high level for us apparently and then we've got two different locations down here to head to so I would imagine this location is where we want to go but there's also this location which looks like a um, possibly a broken car lots area I have no idea till we get there it could be anything in this game so we're gonna head to the iron serpents so I hope you enjoy the video if you do remember to hit the like button and if you want to see more videos remember to hit the subscribe button but let's get going Ooh, so there's less snow around which is good new location discovered iron beast so there you go some scrap and let's head over this way and see if there's anything over here to, at the beginning. Doesn't look like there's much. But then again, there's not exactly too much. It's when you get into the combat areas that you get all the good stuff. No, I'm not seeing anything, but it does look like a... It, well... It does look like an amazing game. It is an amazing looking game. There's no two ways about that. It's pretty, it's beautiful, it's well put together. And I love the even the talking they do as you walk around. The the humour they have is so much so funny in how they see everything. Okay, we've got some structure up here. Let's uh Slow down a little bit. Take a little bit of a look. Okay, this doesn't look very inviting. There's a lot of dead bodies around. Oh, zone dog. Come this way, guys. We may well be able to take out the zone dog. So there's going to be more of them. But let's... Ooh, chem flare. Let's take that. Broken gun. Let's take that. Let's hide you there. Let's take a quick look around. There's something shiny just here. I wonder how many we're taking on. So there's obviously one that I can see. Oh, there's... Oh, Mother Zone Dog, level 30. Sorry, no. Level 25 for 30 health. And there's another Zone Dog. So there's two Zone Dogs and one Mother. You know what? I've taken on three before and it didn't really was much of a challenge so we can I, I think we've got a good chance here let's wait for this zone dog to come back and we'll ambush this guy is there something there shiny there is more broken gun parts Ooh, and a box let's quickly get unstuck from the rubbish let's open this check chest quickly I think the zone dog is coming back oh and some armor axe warrior armor where it is immune to charge attacks, two armor for health, for additional health. Well, that's um, gonna be handy. So let's quickly go to here. So who has the least armor? Um, two. You've got the. Where is immune to critical hits? Uh, you got one armor. And then you've got one armor, but you absorb fire damage. So you've got the basic armor. 
Yeah, sod it. Let's give you the axe warrior armor. It's going to give you lots of health as well. Oh, and you need some grenades. Damn. There we go. Anyone else needing grenades? Yep. And you're good. Right. Okay, we just got to wait for him to, the zone dog to come back down. Or is there, oh, it might be the one zone dog. No, there he is. There is the zone dog. So. Um, let's hide you just there. And I need you. Recall. Right. Ambush. Oh, it's enemy turn. No! Ah. Not good. That's not gone well. But that's fine. We should be able to take this zone dog out before they get in. Let's speed them up. Oh, there's a zone dog. So, yeah, three dogs by the looks of things. That shoots. 100%. Fire! Would have been nice to get a critical hit just there, but no. Let's activate you. And fire you. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't think we're going to kill this zone dog in one go, but never mind. Okay, let's switch to the slugger. The state switcher, sorry. And yeah, we can't kill it unfortunately. But That's you right. down to five health, four health, because it's on fire. Nice. So they're still getting in, which is good. So you're going to attack? No, he didn't. Okay, did he get stunned or something? Let's reload you. Okay, you've got still got 100% chance of hitting. I think. Um. So we just take you out. Yeah, let's take you out. Were you Dead. saying something? No, I'm pretty sure the dog wasn't talking. But you might be crazy enough to believe it. Okay, you need to move closer. So that's 75% chance of hitting now. We want to be. We want to have a better chance of hitting than that. So let's run and gun. And let's go... Yeah, see that... Let's go there. Got a little bit of cover. Though I don't think cover really makes much difference. Let's fire away. Nine damage. 21 health left, and let's reload. 100% chance of hitting. You don't need to move, which is good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the mother, the mother dog's half dead already. But sounds like it's calling in more reinforcements. Okay, so it looks like there's two more dogs coming in. This could be interesting. They could rip us a new one. We'll see. We are fighting point blank range, but that's fine. Now we're going to focus on the mother dog, the mother zone dog, to take her out. Now it's getting fun. Because we do not want any more reinforcements being called in. And now let's move you closer. Let's go there. I don't think the dogs have got any radius effect weapons, but you never know. I don't really want to use a grenade. What grenades have we got? Standard grenades, EMP, Molotov. The thing is... Uh, we could. That could work. One damage to each. Um, Bormin's immune to it, so that's fine. 
Ooh, do we? Please, two damage they'll be taking. Sod it. Yeah, we need to do some damage. Because we've got two more dogs coming in, so... And Borming can shoot at the mother dog. And it will... It won't kill it, but it will die in its turn because... It'll take one more damage from the fire. There we go. And it just flew across the map. Interesting. Okay, so what are you two doing? Not much by the looks of things. You're still getting into me. So let's speed you up. You slow me down. Let's reload the shotgun. And 100% chance on that zone dog, which is damaged already. So yeah, let's go for it. And knocked it back. Awesome. Okay, who are you going for? 100% of you. We might as well go for the weakened one. And since it's a 100% chance to hit, that's always good. Hi there. So we're down to... Seven. Well... Fire reloads. Five damage, two damage. Uh, no line of fire. Damn it. Well, we're going for this one then. Back off. Either way, we're doing some damage. There's only three guys left. They could drop Borman. He could, he could get injured. But the dogs are all... All the dogs are on fire. Not literally. Well, literally on fire. Two of them are. One's not quite on fire. Okay, can we... Yeah, we can drop that one. Guaranteed to drop it because we'll 100% chance of hitting. And... Yep, you take out that zone dog. And it blows up the cover behind it. Good job no one was um, using it. Did it not take damage? Pretty sure it, it must have. Yeah, because it was higher health than that, wasn't it? Never mind. Let's let's just carry on. Let's just ignore the fact that... Ooh, critical hit. 100, yes. 100% 100 chance of hitting, 100% chance of critical hit. Let's do it. And then it takes some damage in its turn. And it should still be on fire the next turn. Oh no. Bormin is bleeding out. Yeah, you're still on fire, so you're going to die next turn. So let's just focus on the one zone dog. Oh, does that hurt? And next turn, I shall try and get Borman up when there's a le when there's less in the way. Although I could probably take this zone dog out and not waste a medical kit. Um. Yeah, let's do that. I was thinking of using the tree hugger ability, but I don't think there's any point. Yeah, that zone dog's died. Just one. And it, I absorbed the damage. Wow. That's awesome. So I don't even have to worry about taking damage. Maybe it was a charge attack. I'm guessing it was. Okay, so Bingo. next turn it's dead. And if it attacks ducks again, we'll see how much damage it absorbs. So it's only doing two damage then, because it's my armor that's absorbing it, which is quite cool. And dead. Sorry about that. Target down. So Borman should get up, I'm okay. and we get a level up. Okay. So let's. Press the Follow regroup me. button and let's check our um, mutations. What can we get? So ducks can get one additional point or 25% extra weapon range. Well, no, let's get let's increase our health. I think that's going to be helpful. Uh, you've only got one point available and you've got two points available. So you're not buying anything. Kind of want the corpse eater ability. That sounds fun. And 
Have I got a new weapon? I'm guessing I do. Ah, yes, you have the sl slinger. But it's not a quiet weapon. I kind of want a silent weapon on everybody. And I like his shotgun. Plus, it's got all the mods on at the moment, which would be a pain in the ass to take off. Same with that. I mean, the what is it the slinger does more damage because it's doing five, seven, and five percent critical hits. This one's doing seven, eight, and fifteen percent. But again, that's a silent weapon. I could change the pistol out. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Ah, the state switcher could be something that I swap because okay, it's it. It's got less range, but I don't think range is too much of an issue. My problem is it's got the um, add-ons equipped, and this one doesn't. I kind of like having the additional, the 20% weapon range, plus one critical damage, and 50% chance of burning on that weapon. I mean, I mean, putting it on this weapon would make it even better. So, yeah, when we get back, I might have to swap your weapons and let's give you a new molotov because we use one and let's go see what we can loot around here what that what was the mother guarding i wonder doesn't look like the zone dogs dropped anything unfortunately i'd imagine this is yeah this is the exit to the next area Let's take a quick look around and see what is here. Must be something shiny here. Although there was the crate that they were guarding, so I'd imagine that would be the loot. Ah, there's... So yeah, it must be a junkyard. I don't think that's going to be a dead end. Ooh, dead ends. There's another crate. Let's see what we get here. A helmet. Immune to electrical damage. Where it is immune to mind control. Um, I like the sound of that. Anything in this building. Oh, shit. There's some enemies there. There's a tank. I think that was a shaman. Yeah, Shaman. Okay. But I found the ways out of the map, the this area, so don't really need to take them on at the moment. You know what, let's um, hide and then check down the train and see what is down there. Okay, so uh, sorry about the weird cuts. I uh, thought my PC was doing something weird. Um, apparently I hit the CD drawer open button and it managed to open itself but no my PC is fine it's just it, me being an idiot damn zone dogs they were smaller in the old days dumber too we got no weapons zone dogs got no weapons in the pause we are the kings of the zone not them then go to the zone dog and tell that to his face you want to get eaten like skeezel bam bam and treepo go for it yeah yeah me Go ahead, get So, this is like a house with wheels? <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. Look alive. We got company. <laughs> so this is... They, they feel this is a house with wheels. Well, to be fair, enough people live on a train long enough that they might as well make it their home. Yeah, nowadays. So there's a few things on here. Which is quite nice. There we go. There might even be something on top of the train. So I suppose that's worth taking a look. Quick look. I and mean, I think that we can do it without um, getting noticed by anyone. So let me head down here. And see if there's a way on top of the train. Okay, so I don't think there's anything on top of the train. I don't see any way to actually climb on top of it either. Probably ducks can jump up on top of it because of his wings. 
and I think Selma has some way of um, jumping onto high places as well. But looking down the end here, um, just toward, just past the nose of the train, there was a, some scrap and uh, broken gun parts. But there's also a note just here. So, uh, Stalker Oscar notes. Some nights ago, me and the gang were sat in Prips playing at dice. I was on a losing streak and not really paying attention to the game when I happened to notice Prip quietly talking with a shady looking customer at the table behind us. They were talking quite intently and Prip was gleefully pouring many a free grog for his new friends. At one point in the conversation, Prip's eyes seemed to glow as, with excitement as I faintly heard the words, Ancient Grog Storehouse. Passing from the stranger's lips, apparently there's something interesting down south that will warrant a visit when we have sobered up at least enough to get our rot riddled asses down there. Sounds interesting. So there is an ancient storehouse, Grog storehouse. Now to me, that sounds like a um, beer storehouse, or as it's called now, Grog storehouse, which um, sounds like something that I would happily visit. Oh, there's a hunter. Okay, got to be a little bit careful here. I'm, I'll be caught out alone, and that would be um, bad for my health. Luckily he's walking back that way, so that's cool. Anything in this building? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's not really a building. Oh, there is. Electronic scrap. Nice. Okay, so the only things left are those hunters. Now the problem is... The Shaman has 24 hit points. You've got the tank, which is damn hard to take down. The Shaman calls in enemies. I can't really take them out quick enough at the moment. So I want to gain a few more levels and upgrade my weapons a little bit better before taking on fights that I may or may not need to do. Let's see, where's the tank? Let's see what hit points the tank has got. 30 hit points with 3 armor. See, that's the problem. I can't take out the Shaman, so he's in one go, at least, because he's going to, so he's going to call in more reinforcements. And is it just the three? Maybe, maybe we do. Maybe we do take them out. Because I can weaken down that hun the hunter that's wandering around. Oh, we can take out that butcher. He's 14 hit points. With grenades. Um... No, you know what? Let's not. Let me go to... Since I want to level up, I might as well explore the place that probably isn't part of the the storyline um, map areas. So, which that would be going into the car place. So, let's go... Is it... No, it's just around here, isn't it? Is it? Okay, let's speed up, because I know there's nothing around here. I've killed all the enemies up to this end of the map. No, there's nothing here. So, it was back here. So, yes, let's go into whatever the car place is. Garage. It's probably either a garage or a... Um, car sales lot place of some description. Oh, and there's some... Scrap just there. Nice. So, yep, we're going to travel here and see what this place is. Take a quick look around. Scraplands, it's called. The Alder's going to be chewing our ears off if we don't find some scrap to bring back to the Ark. Well, I definitely think there's some scrap in this place. A lot of it as well. I'd, I'd hope. This is the scrapyard. Hooey, look at all that scrap. Yeah. It's not going to be easily.
picked up, though, I'd imagine. I would imagine there's going to be... Yeah, there's an enemy wander around at the top. I suppose we better... Is a butcher level... My 14 health? Should be able to take him out fairly silently. Oh, and a medbot that's wandering around. So that's not nice. Don't like those. Okay, so they're crossing over paths. Okay. This place could be very challenging. Okay, no, he's looping back around. Okay. Let's see if I can drop this. Ah, no, if I drop that guy, I wonder if the medbot is going to find him and wake him up. And then alert others. Okay, so that might be the last guy we want to silently take out. Let's see who else is around here. Why are we guarding Chuck? He wants Chuck. Chuck, did it tell you? This one's a steel chariot. That one's another steel chariot. Well, broken steel chariot. Both of them broken, really, but when they were working, oh, we watch out. Broken steel chariot. Yeah. Okay. Come to me, Scrap. Come to Big Papa. There's definitely a lot of scrap here. I'd imagine there must be a mother load of scrap here. That would be something worthwhile fighting this place for. Oh, common scrap. Although we are finding a fair amount of scrap. We're back up to 100 scrap already. Uh, there's a tank. There's a boss. This place does it. This place is. Um, Quite tough to take on, I'd imagine. I'd, it's looking like. Yeah, maybe, maybe this place isn't such a good place to go. <laughs> um, I'm thinking now that I've got a little bit of scrap from here, we go back to the previous location and see if we can take down the smaller group of bad guys because this this place doesn't look so inviting now oh why can't that game be easy hell if it was easy it wouldn't be fun let's just say that yeah let's go back to the iron serpent and let's see if we can take out those guys I'm thinking three grenades will probably do a good job of we nearly walk straight into them. And the tank is probably gonna be the guy that we take on last, because he does he does knockdown damage. Or well, knockdown and then shoots you damage. Ooh, actually. That's um oops. Wrong but wrong wrong key. Where is immune to direct electrical damage and mind control? And twenty five to Weapon range, yeah, let's swap that over. Don't need the additional range. Not anymore. And who... You're immune to critical hits. You're immune to charge attacks. I think we swap that. So you take... you Because you'll be at the front, and then you can be immune to fire damage. Yeah. I think that's better. And then you're immune to critical hits. Okay. Um, who do we hit first? Okay, let's hide you there. Hide you there. See, we're not taking down that hunter in one go. He's 24 health. We can only do 14 stealth damage. I can almost drop the shaman in one go. I can do it in the. So he'll call reinforcements in regardless. Now I want to see where this hunter wanders to. Oh shit. No, move. Oh, he didn't see me. Luckily, he didn't see me.
Okay. If I just sit still, I think I'll be all right, unless he turns around and sees me. Okay, that is lucky as balls. So he has two different paths. I'm pretty sure he come from up the top left of the screen. Ah, uh, you know what? We might I might take him out in the in here. And that gives everyone chance. Everyone else has to come to me. Yes, let's do that. Let's set up an ambush in here. So, both of you come here this way. Set up an ambush on this guy. It doesn't matter if I go loud, because I'm not going to be able to take him out anyway. So let's put you behind this tree. And then you two can come over here. Let's put you a little bit closer. There we go. Right, now we've got to wait for him to come back. Okay, so here he comes. Gonna wait till he's very close. And then now. Hit the ambush button. Activate. 100 percent chance of hitting. Um Do we do nine damage and just go loud straight away? Yeah, sod it, yes. Why not? It's got a 35% chance of um, grading the critical as well. Yep, everyone heard that. Critical damage. 14 damage. The enemy heard me. But that's fine. We activate you. 100% chance of hitting. That leaves you on 5. You know what, let's do Skull Splitter. Do... Uh, 75 no not let's move you to where you've got a hundred percent chance of hitting we only open for a turn but that's fine oh look he saw me skull splitter I missed god damn you oh well never mind <laughs> right need to swap these two around in my inventory so that I don't have to keep swapping each mission. Okay, so I didn't manage to take him out in one go. We're having bird tonight. Which kind of sucks, but never mind. As good as dead. You know, we had a 75% chance of hitting and we missed. He's gonna run away, but that's fine. He's on fire. Dox is gonna take a little bit of damage. Again, that's fine. He's got a wander in. He's weak enough. You're fine. Oh, three. Three guys coming in. And then the tank. Yeah, you can go on Overwatch. That's fine by me. Right, reloads. I don't know if you've got line of sight. Did he just walk a little bit closer for me? Okay, I actually have more chance of hitting the Shaman all the way back there. So, yeah, let's do that. And we hit him. Bormin. Yeah, he's moving backwards and forwards just to get here. <laughs> Liking it. If I go there, it's 25% chance of hitting. No line of fire. Wow. I don't want to go on the other side of the wall. So that's not good. Um, hog rush. If I activate it. And... I don't know. Let's see this. Uh, um, violently rush your enemy, knocking back and incapacitating them for one turn. Might leave him very open. Oh, that didn't do anything. 
Well, that was a bit stupid. And it blew up my tr and it blew up my tree cover. Twenty-five percent chance of hitting. Well, let's go over here. Still twenty-five percent chance of hitting. I don't like this. That I want to block that. Okay, enemy turn. I actually did nothing that turn. Apart from put Bormin right out in the open where he's going to get shot by everybody. Now Shaman's going to shoot. Luckily he missed. Attack. Ooh, that's not good. Overwatch. A lot of fog over here. It's very bright. Let's speed this up. There we go. Okay. No line of fire. That's because there's a wall in the way, I guess. Let's go there. <laughs> You're earning your scrap. Hundred percent chance of killing. Yay! Finally, we got, got we got rid of someone. Um, yeah, just reloads. You're way too far away, really. Okay, let's go for the shaman again. 50% chance of missing. And Bormin. You need to move, really. Let's go there. Yeah, that's a good place to go, I think. Shoots, because then you've got 100% chance of hitting. Do it now! Kill it! And you blow up the tree. Nice. Less cover for them. Overwatch. That's not good. Ducks are taking a beating. Overwatch. These guys are going to go in Overwatch, which is fine. And then these guys are taking their time coming in. Which is, to be fair, I need that. <laughs> right. 75% chance of it. It must be range. Out of range. They're the only two that I can go for. Well, um, no, I can switch character. There we go. Reload you. Where you are, you should have a hundred percent chance, and it's a kill. Nice. And let's reload and reposition you. Um, that's out in the open. That's not a good place to go. Let's go behind the tree for the moment. Or is that a good place? Not really. That's out in the open. To be fair, you've still got... chance of hitting people from back here, so let's try it. There we go. We're weakening them. We're weakening them. You've got, you're out of range. Okay, well, let's go a little bit closer. Still only 25%. Wow. Okay, run and gun. Actually, let's. Because I can select it this way. 100% chance of hitting. 20% chance of critical. I'll be right out. Right out in the open, though. That's the problem. Let's see what grenades we've got. Molotov. Chem flare would be handy. Let's see. See, I think the grenade would be a little bit of a waste. Unless. Yeah, we can't get anything there. Chem flare, though. Chem flare is 25% chance to hit. Anyone that's in this area. I don't know. I think that's a little bit of a bad idea as well. That's what chance we've got. No chance of hitting. And that's the only one. Okay, let's reload you. We might as well. And go in Overwatch. 
it. Just for one turn. I want them a little bit grouped up. There we go. Oh, yes. That would have been so cool. Oh, that's it. Make your own. Make your own entrance. Ooh. Oh, did he knock himself down? Nice. We want it. We need it. Okay, so this turn could be a good turn for me. Potentially. So, let's shoot. Well, sod it. That looks like a good option. Although, I want to move away slightly. Invalid target. Why? I have no idea. Oh, you know what? Let's just shoot. Or do we take out the shaman? I think taking out the shaman might be a better option, so we can stop. So we can stop the reinforcements coming in as soon as possible. Yep. There we go. You can reload. Who can you hit? 100% on you. 50% on you. You know I'm going to miss. Although, let's see if we can get a good grenade toss. So, Borman is not immune to being set on fire anymore. I don't think... Oh. Okay, there would be good. Because that would take out some of the cover as well. Or what can we do over here? There's only one guy in range. Do I drop it there? Because he's only doing one damage to the tank. Sod it, let's go for it. And all of the wall has gone. Oops. So let's reload you. And that means that... Yeah, 100% chance. 75% chance. It's not going to kill him anyway, so... Okay, let's do some more damage to the tank. Whilst we've got the option. Oh, the, the opportunity... Didn't kill as much as I'd like, but hey. Absorb nice. Okay, you're trying to hide as well? Fair enough. Two damage. Not good. And knock back. Not that there's any think that I was hiding behind anyway, so never mind. Okay, he's still on fire. Nice. That's way too bright in that. Uh, no, let's switch to Bormin because he, no hit chance, but he can take out the Shaman. Yeah, if we go there and drop the Shaman. Or do I? Because I've got a good chance. Yeah, let's... Oh, bugger. Choices. We're overkilling this guy. And Borman is a little bit wounded. Yeah, because the other guy's not going to have the 100% high, the, the chance of taking him out. So, let's take him out. And then everyone else can... Ooh. Molotov these guys. No, I don't think that is needed. A grenade would be needed. Let's see if we can drop that without hitting ducks. We can. Yep. Let's go for it. Takes out all the cover again. Never mind. And let's... Shoot and take out one of the butchers. 
Yeah. That guy. Freaking zero, come at me. Okay, one down. It's getting very easy to hit everybody. Ah, yeah. he's immune to charge damage, and he keeps getting. That's why he keeps getting knocked down. Oops. Okay, this guy's nearly in. Let's reload you. Twenty-five percent chance of hitting you. Hundred percent chance of hitting the tank. Seventy-five percent chance because of range. Um. That's the problem with single fire weapons. I've got to reload and shoot or do nothing. So let's try it. It's gonna miss. Yeah, figured as much. And you're gonna be the same, aren't you? Twenty-five percent. Fifty percent on him. 25% on you. Let's, I'm going to have to pull you out of cover. Because there's no cover left. Yeah, let's go there. And they've got pistols, so I can switch to those, I suppose. That would be a good oh. idea. Shoots. Yeah, you're going to have a shotgun war over here. I'm thinking you might drop me first, though. Oh, ah, oh, you missed ducks. That's your own fault. You didn't miss ducks, though. That's not good. One damage to you. Okay. So can I get anywhere close to ducks? I can. This might sting a little. Not too shabby. Yeah, because I've blown up all the cover, there's nothing to hide behind anyway. Okay, yeah, let's switch to the pistols. I keep forgetting about those. That gives me the option to move and shoot and end this a little bit better. There. I'm putting myself out in the open, but it's for good reason to, to finish this. To get rid of at least one of these marauders, so we can move on. Okay, let's move you. 100% chance of hitting there. Yep. Shoot. Fire. Doesn't kill, but you're on fire, so you're dead anyway. There we go. He's on an overwatch. Awesome. That means that it's going to be three on one down here. Once I take out this guy. Oh, overwatch, but miss. Ha, good. That's a good failed overwatch. And... Oh no, you're... you got a shotgun. And it's still got ammo. So let's... Let's, um, I don't think I'm going to get in range down here, am I, really? Unless I run and gun. Yeah, if I run and gun, I can go just there. And fire. Leaves him on one hit point. Okay, so it just leaves ducks. Yeah, you're moving forward. No questions. Get up. And we're shooting. Finishing off execution effectively. From where from where that from where ducks were standing, that was an execution. Right, so it's just you left. You know what? We're gonna reload all our weapons and move in using some trees as cover. Okay, maybe not. You can go behind this tree for cover. 
Snake Switcher doesn't have any ammo. Let's reload. Oops, I pressed X again. I want to reload. And you can come down here. And you can reload, because you might as well. And then you can move down here. No, you're not on cover there. Well, let's go there for the moment. This is going to be a little bit tactical. Hopefully, yeah, he's going to come to us a little bit. Ah, you keep charging me and I'm immune to it, you foolish computer. But thank you for getting right on top of me. So, 100% chance of hitting. And let's fire. Okay, so that's Borman. 25%, no, let's... Find a hundred percent. The problem is, I am going to be out in the open, but it's hundred percent, and then I can do skull splitter. I oh, know twenty-five percent. Ooh, no. Hundred percent. Seventy-five percent. I did that. What do you think you know about what? that? Let's, huh? Let's just shoot for the moment. We've still got a lot of damage to do to him. And it's only two damage I'm doing at a time. Okay, no hit chance. I think you're in probably the worst position. So yeah, let's go there. It's about the same as everywhere else. You know what? I could. Ooh, tree hugger. Tree hugger. Which stops him from moving for a turn. Yes. Or a couple of turns. Yes, he can still shoot. But that's fine. You're doing less damage that way. State switcher, 25%. No. Let's move into a better position. 100%. There we go. So now we just get to shoot him like shooting fish in a barrel. Or. Not ducks in a barrel, because that would be a bit mean. Uh, you need to move. To there. Yep. That's fine. He's on fire as well, so this is going to be good. He's going to drop pretty quickly. He's got... Uh, I need to reload. Ooh, hang on. If I reload... Let's just test, test something. Do I block like my own line of sights? No. So that's fine. Let's switch back to you. Reload you. So you're doing one extra damage. I think. Yes. So reload the crossbow. Gotcha. That puts him on three hit points left. So very much down here. Pretty cool. Three hit points down to two because he's on fire, and then he decides to do the stupid thing of charging me and ends his turn pretty much. Okay, ducks can have the kill this time. No hitch. Ah, oh, no, that sucks. Have you got a chance of hitting? Well, let's see if you've got a chance of hitting. You did it, kid. 100%. Yeah, you can have the kill then. Okay, so we finally managed to kill all of them. Uh, it's a little bit harder than... It's a little bit hard, but not actually too hard. It no, wasn't too bad in the end. Follow there was a few... Um, stupid mistakes on my part. Let's just say that. So let's regroup everyone. And let's go collect all the loot from the dead bodies. There's some... There's a bit more. And the shaman drops some. Med kits. Nice. Because I use one in that engagement. I think that's it. So let's see what they were guarding. I know there's something up here. But what is it? A chem flare. Oh, and there's a crate. What is in the crate?
Okay, a Rambino. Seven damage, nine critical, ten percent critical chance, four ammo, fourteen range. Ancient semi automatic rifle with a high rate of fire. This weapon can deliver decent damage, but is noisy and will attract the attention of any any enemies nearby. Well don't all weapons aren't all weapons noisy unless they're silent. So there you go. What's this? Broken electronics. Cash machine. Well, broken electronics is definitely the way I put in that. Okay, I think that's it. Another area secured and looted. And let's just check. Yeah, yeah no, nothing else here. So, we can go to the scrapyards. Um... I'm not sure whether I should just yet. I don't. I don't know. I feel like I'm a little bit unprepared for what's down there. It looks hard as hell down there. So maybe we'll come back to it. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, remember to hit the subscribe button. But until next time, have fun and enjoy the rest of your day.